So this video is another trial and error video with the focusing map tool, Microsoft Assessment uh, tool. We can install it on Windows 10 Office. Yeah, this one will do. Windows 10 Office 365. What is it? Windows Update. Okay, not now. <coughs> so we want to go and search for the map tool that is oh. assessment and planning toolkit this one this is for for example just a month ago all of on our floor all of the windows 7 pcs were gradually um, upgraded to Windows 10 <clears throat> mm, let's go with this one so basically you want to um, you have two ways you actually <clears throat> you have documentation from the past so you have two ways either you go to uh, for uh, first you have a documentation of some sort that uh, you know what computer what's part when what kind of hardware it is and that's a manual work you have to go through each uh, if, if there is a file uh, digital or uh, you know a, car, a notebook that's good like if it's a smaller network <clears throat> but for larger networks um, there's uh, a painful method of going to each computer verifying or you can run a tool just like we if you remember the spice works on uh, pdq <coughs> uh, videos that we can run everything from one computer it goes to those computers scans them and brings us the information that we need so this uh, software is the same in terms of what it does is it goes scan all of them uh, find their hardware and um ram hard disk uh, processor and makes you a list of uh, that computer that are ready to be upgraded or not so this one is specially for microsoft and for especially for upgrading all right so i just wanted to try it since i have a network small network i did uh, um uninstall two of my um virtual machines i shouldn't have but now so this one is right here let's fire it up and oh i might have to power on everything let's power on everything <coughs> you see microsoft assessment and planning toolkit <coughs> we can get back to it later on first let's uh uh, power on our machines I might have to I'm gonna run my desktop uh, laptop as well my desktop the other desktop is already running so that can stay let's minimize the server as well right there <coughs> continue one by one let me go and power on my best uh, laptop machine as well <coughs> You know what let's uh, um, pause the video here let me prepare my hardware all right so all of the systems are running now we're ready everything's all uh, good so we're gonna go with the um, this server this is going to turn that here what is we gonna say that uh, it's asking for a name to be put we say when 10 inventory um when win 10 inventory for upgrade it's uh, uh probably overkill you just have to give it a name <coughs> or you could delete you know put in the description
so basically this tool only check the um, uh, maybe it check to upgrade the hardware I'm not sure does it check all the software as well like if the software is compatible with the newer version or not um, but there is another way to do that uh, if you remember from uh, you can run a program in compatibility compatibility mode but then there is a, another ADK so software that Microsoft launched that you can uh, pretty much uh, use that so <clears throat> you see this is the cloud so it scans your uh, machine for cloud like Azure virtual machine Azure virtual machine capacity office 365 so this one is all the desktops that you can scan uh, and kill you see collecting inventory data <coughs> so uh, this with this tool you can check your whole new system um, network to not just to upgrade to Windows 10 but you see this you can check for Windows 8.1 Windows 7 Office 2010 2013 2016 I'm surprised they haven't added the 2019 uh, uh, in here so this one is server like if your system is ready for this or all that desktop virtualization basically uh, if you remember uh, back in the day when it that was before me my time mm, uh, they used to have mainframes that uh, computer and you have a like just a monitor and keyboard and basically you feel like that you're it is your own but the mainframe is giving you a slack of uh, its processing time and it will giving you all 200 and all that so with virtualization that time is almost upon us very soon we'll have just 10 computers basically a monitor and uh, as a light hardware we'll think that it's happening in our machine but uh, actually we'll be seeing a uh, video telecast of what's going on in a remote virtual server and basically like that server will house so many virtual machine that we will be accessing uh, it's already uh, going on I've seen examples of it <clears throat> so this is server virtualization and like uh, they discover your virtual machines and all that uh, this one is for databases, Rackle, SQL, Azure, and usage tracking. I have no idea what it is. I will play around with it and see. Come, it's probably about the uh, like what device you have and what's being done on them and all that environment. All right, so. First thing first, let's go back to our desktop, collect inventory data, or this one, or this one. Let's go with this one, it says. So basically, we're going to go with the, they want you to um, select what kind of network you have and how you're doing it. So we have all Windows computers, like, you uh, you know, we don't have VMware, we don't have Linux, active devices and users, and part protection and all that, we don't have that active directory use windows networking protocol ip address range system center configuration manager i need to do that i keep forgetting i need to make uh, learn that and make a video <coughs> okay manually enter computer name and credentials import computer name from a file so basically you can you can have a file the like uh, like i said that if you, you have documented everything uh, you can import it I believe that it will be an access or access file or comma separated uh, CS file or it will uh, manually enter like you uh, enter all the names and their credentials if it's a network of work groups scan an IP address range again it will work IP address range will actually work for both uh, for work groups as well as your network because uh, work group connects with the router and uh, network uh, with Active Directory they th yep yeah, they get the IP address as well so you can scan any of them and this one Active Directory domain services this is especially for the uh, domain I'm gonna go with this one 
because uh, if you remember from our previous videos everything is to main connected let's go there so my domain is Imran dot local I can put local I, I think I sh only should put Imran but Imran slash let's say Imran and for the sake of uh, <coughs> For the sake that we don't encounter <coughs> any problems that we should not I'm gonna go with the admin account so basically find all computer and all domain container organization unit I think it will <coughs> okay next please apply account credential for the profile you have chosen create of what account name password I think I already done that so I don't have to do that WMI uh, I think it's detecting something on my network Windows MI I remember from PDQ we did that and that was the <coughs> admin account password so just go with it save a new note close next next so this is cool stuff Imran admin is trader okay let's go finish and see if it's running <laughs> six machine inventory well that was fast three collection remaining I know I have a uh, how many machines I have so I have a laptop, a physical laptop, a computer over there, two, and hopefully details. What did it get? Okay, let's go close it out and see what's happening. Eight ready for Windows 10. That's cool. One insufficient data. 44 ready for Windows 8.1. Windows 7 ready for 1 3 <clears throat> so basically it's a quick snapshot of what I got <coughs> I cannot click on L okay when I clicked oh that's a um, that's a tile that you can click on it okay so that's an excel file generate windows 10 readiness report close open let's see what it is we have meet minimum requirements eight machines after hardware repair before or after same not ready for windows 10 zero Insuff insufficient data not inventory one so I have some here let's go with them minimum X okay yeah that's good so there is one CPU that is x86 it has a memory of 1024 uh, free disk space is 16 the other one is 64 to 20 um, okay so this is for that used in the access assessment that if you have a x86 system like 32 bit system it has to have third uh, 1 GB RAM and if it has the 64 then it has to has uh, it has to have uh, 2 GB and at least is free disk space and if that the value is true then it this uh, that computer is ready to be upgraded all right can I yeah I can okay let's check this one out <coughs> desktop computer name okay that's good this must be desktop 40 G insufficient data these are the virtual machines I don't see the laptop they're all right there and this is the Windows 8 machine right there so these two machine
I need to find out what are these this oh it even scan my um, host machine but the catch is that it has insufficient data because the username and password did not match that's why it could not now these two it could be anything but this is domain join so I tried to go to them but could not find what I'm thinking is that these are the two machines that I deleted uh, are those uh, other virtual machine I think these are the one meet system requirement upgrade not required insufficient data for it video adopter unknown so can we go right yeah oh no this one is pro -N. so this one is the these are the new two machines actually anyways let's go CPU unknown insufficient data this must be the Ryzen yep so everything else met the requirements all of them upgrade not required after hardware upgrade like if I put a little less RAM on one of the machine and we should see that so what we're gonna do is the these have enough RAM. this is 8 GB RAM and this one is a uh, laptop has 3 GB RAM so they met the requirement everything else has had at least uh, 2 GB 10 test and test oh these two have been deleted but they are still insufficient data failed failed for WMI but after upgrade it's not all right so after upgrades there's no computer that's required to be upgraded like it will be give us the list of the computer that are that needs upgrade so we can go to those computers and upgrade them device assessment summary device assessment summary I'm not sure what it is device assessment details this is okay yo uh, okay so it found the application that uh, Microsoft application that are there so yep I installed the office 365 earlier today one drive is installed dot net framework was installed on one of them yep for I think PDQ or spice work and this we just install so let's go good stuff go close it out let's go back here and before we run another one let's go and play with the uh, shut down Windows 10 and Windows 7 yeah let's shut them down and give them less memory and then run another one with the IP range so we get the fun stuff with the IP range and we can mm, check if it's working or not first we can go to the Windows 10 settings it has 2 GB memory so we have to and Windows 7 settings it has 2 GB everything everything has 2 GB that's what's been happening oh, okay so everything had 2 GB and that's why everything passed oh no not this one yep oh this one has actually uh, only 1 GB and that is Windows 10 Pro and everything is ready so what I'm gonna do is uh, let's go back give them less memory first we see what is the Windows 10 uh, Windows 10 hardware requirements 1 gigahertz processor and 1 GB RAM we're gonna give it less <coughs> so let's shut it down oh it's gonna take forever all right and go with Windows 10 as well let's shut it down shut down shut down anyway I'm gonna pause the video here because Windows 10 will take forever uh, 7 to 7 so once it's done I'm gonna load the RAM and pause on pause the video so let's get back to Windows 7 give it uh, 512 okay Windows 10 let's go to 512 and I hope they 
fire up like they <laughs> don't stall at me all right now let's go with windows 10 first see if it boots up or not with So this is the beauty of virtual machines that you don't have to actually open the side panel and do the physical changes all the time. You can do everything with the click. How easy it is! I was, I uh, it will take forever for me if I have to do it uh, with the physical stuff uh, with the physical machine. So let's power on the Windows Seven as well. And if I can show you quickly system here, the amount of RAM it has. Install RAM 1.27 GB. That's uh, not right. I should not say that. Because if we go here, Windows 10 and settings, you can see it's 512. <coughs> but um, it's saying. That could be again because of the uh, where is it is okay that could be because of the maximum RAM enable dynamic memory we don't have to we have to actually uncheck that all right so if that uh, fails it runs and gets everything I think that's happened with the uh, Windows um, oh no that uh, 1 GB is minimum required so let's run the test again uh, Windows 7 is up yep it is up so let's run the collect inventory data again desktop and I think we have to create select databases can I click here what will happen yep <coughs> let's create a new one probably or this time we're gonna scan the IP range uh, everything is 192.168.1. from 2 to 192.168.1.254 not right starting okay next 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 let's see if it works or not collection remaining so basically it's gonna scan all of the uh, IP addresses and you see there are 250 or three of them so it's gonna go out to my network and scan it hopefully it does okay it says 20 machines it should not have said that because there are no machines over there But uh, just imagine if uh, all 253 or so addresses were given out, then it is going to scan all of them. Like it will go present the credentials, uh, machines, okay, as it goes and scans the machine, inventories it, and brings us the uh, data. So now we are hoping that it gets us the, uh, at least for the eight same machines, bring us everything
So it's almost done. 62 more uh, addresses. The reason I went with the hole is that uh, my addresses are scattered in the 100 range. So just to be on the safe side, I scan the whole uh, range of 1.1 1 .1. so but they are there like um, you can see this machine is 118 this one is I believe 148 yeah this one is 148 the other one is 124 and the other one is over there that windows uh, eight machine is uh, I believe 115 16 something like that so uh, Windows 10 all right so done we have everything here uh, let's go to 11 sufficient data 42 percent ready <coughs> eight currently ready I am assuming that this can update it I hope it does uh, let's go back see now it, the number went down eight ready let's go and check everything's still the same so i hope that it's uh our windows machine 37 which one is the new one 837 this one got to be all right not ready for windows 10 is zero machines microsoft all right so these one if you see the addresses by addresses it says insufficient data and with this meets minimum requirement okay and i i know what happened when we scan through the <coughs> uh, ip address range i think it was not going through the um, domain it was through going through the uh, presenting the local accounts and since they were not the same it uh, ended up getting the insufficient data but uh, these one it was able to um, log into those system so good to know well this is how you do it um, if this video help you in any way Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And you can end the video. Uh, you can stop watching here because basically I'm just going back for my sake. I'm gonna run the um, uh, like I want to capture what the trouble trial and error I'm doing further. <clears throat> but basically, the video is uh, uh, ended here. I'm just uh, doing some repeat work and all that. All right, so let me go Windows 7, Windows 10, shut it down again. Windows 7, shut it down, and another update. Great. All right, where is Windows 10 assessment tool, all that back desktop. So pause the video. So basically what I'm doing, doing is, I'm thinking uh, that uh, if you go to settings and I can show you memory, I'm giving it to 512, but in a, with enabled dynamic memory, it's using more than I want it to be. So it's, even though I said that physical machines are harder, this one being a virtual machine, doing it on myself too, so like, um, I have to uncheck that to make sure that it runs with the 512. Let's see if that's the case. Let's power on Windows 12 uh, 7. I hope there is a Windows 12, <laughs> but I think uh, it's going to be Windows 10, if not forever, for a while, because it's going to be SaaS uh, software as a service. <coughs> so it's already been like. Uh, four years now windows 10 is out and it's still here no updates oh sorry no upgrade or something so cut to bit let's go with windows 10 connect if i can go here 
and 512 okay now we are in business I'm gonna run another another thing and hopefully uh, we will be able to Windows 10 Pro 7 where it is 10 connect star <clears throat> and hopefully this time I'm going to have only 512 and looks like it is because it's taking a little it's a little bit slower this time yep definitely slower let's see let's make sure sis oh yep yeah. it's sluggish and slow and for this I have only 32 days, 32 days left <laughs> you can see visible visibly how slow it is and you can see install memory is 512 so that's what was happening it was taking way too memory even though I was saying 512 it was saying ah, uh -uh, I'm gonna get more <clears throat> let's go and get this one last time we did the collecting collect inventory this time I want to collect create a new one so I'm gonna create a new one I'm gonna name it Imran new and improve attempt to collect hardware ready nest to Windows 10 upgrade all right let's go we have to collect inventory data for this one those <coughs> click here uh, Windows computers again we go with the active directory uh, domain is going to be this one domain admin username password let's go Oh, okay so you either we can do this or that <coughs> right right and finish it should run get the nine devices that are there uh, in my domain and 10 machines inventory that it's it got one more wow I wonder what it is so it says details let's close it out check the 8 ready for Windows 10 it's not giving me two not ready <coughs> so maybe we have to go to the settings and lower it or fix it close I'm surprised at this that minimum system requirement it should not what I'm starting to believe that uh, that is because it's a virtual machine <clears throat> I'm gonna end the video here and I'm gonna restart my computer and check if that helps uh, to get this but this is how you use the <clears throat> this is not about if I'm getting the my machines correct or not this is about that how you use this map uh, mapping tool to map the whole network and get the <clears throat> reports to see <clears throat> uh, if your system is ready or not uh, it I am thinking that my two machines were either because they were not restarted properly they have the that this thing has saved them from the previous one or something but other than that when you run on the network it should give you uh, uh, everything uh, like what computers can be upgraded and for the software side of thing you have to actually go and manually check everything 
uh, what you do is you make a one master computer if you remember from our imaging videos that you make one computer <coughs> and inst uh, install the windows and then install all of your softwares and make sure that it's working and once that is computer is done then you deploy it across your your network all right so thank you for watching and you have a good day good night actually it's night uh,